My name is Gabriel Buparau and I'm a professional player of League of Legends. I've been a professional player since a few months ago as I signed with a Russian organization to play in the Russian League. I'm going to tell you the story of, well, the two years of the journey I took to get here. Initially, I started, my grades started falling in school around my fifth year in, uh, well, my second year in high school for the Americans. And I had, I had to make a decision because I was playing a lot of League of Legends as a hobby. And this was mostly the cause of, of why I couldn't keep up my grades at school and I couldn't keep up with all the new things we were learning. So I made a decision to ask my parents if I could ask for a few day, a few days, well, months off, maybe years, so I could try to go professional in League of Legends because this was a dream I developed whilst playing the game for fun. It was my uh, hobby, but I spent just as many hours on the game as I did in school. So shortly after, because it was at that point already clear that it was a career option for, for players good enough, I made the decision to try and go professional under the permission of my mother. My father didn't support it as much, but I was living with my mother and because she was the one housing me, uh, I made the decision to go professional anyway. It wasn't easy for her, but we made it through. Some months were harder, some months were easier. But eventually, uh, after the first two, three months, somewhere in November, is where I started to get going. Uh, in October, it was very difficult for me to make the decision. October 2015. But, um, well, eventually we got through. Now, somewhere in February 2016, I was offered by a Dutch coach to play for the uh, League of Legends team. And obviously, because I hadn't really got any offers prior, I jumped at the choice or jumped at the offer because the players that were playing on the team were people that I respected and knew from watching games, from, from the ladder, from playing at home. And well, shortly after, I think it was a month or two, we went to our first event. And at this event, I had a pretty good performance, but Nobody really thought I was anything special. So after making the second place, I decided to, um, well, to take the opportunity and realize that, look, these people that are currently professional, because there were two or three there that were candidates for getting paid to play in leagues such as Spain, um, I decided I could be better than them. So I put in the extra effort towards the next two or three events to try and really, you know, make it big. So fast forward another two months of grinding with my team and playing in solo queue ladder, not really getting anywhere. Um, our second event rolls in and the same thing happens. I was pretty good. We made second place, but nobody really thought I was special. I was making too many mistakes. Same story again, but this time, the next two months, uh, our third event, we managed to take the first place. Now, after taking first place, it was a nice feeling, but I realized something that it doesn't really matter uh, how I perform at these events in terms of international success, because I still hadn't made a name for me in the European or American scene. Internationally, nobody knew who I was. So I decided to shove aside my team and truly focus on the individual ladder and try and climb the solo queue ladder all the way up to the top. Another fast forward of two to three months of grinding, not every single day, but close enough. And I eventually got to the top, 20, top 25 in Europe. This is where I started making a name for myself uh, somewhere in Europe. Not too big of a name, cause not many people knew me, but uh, enough people knew me that here and there I would get recognition. Either way, I was still playing with my Dutch team, so I, through the summer, I went to several events such as uh, 
Germany, uh, Gamescom in Germany. I went to uh, Poland. I went to DreamHack Valencia. But none of these events truly mattered. As sure, there were people that had recognition and were of high skill at these events. None of them really struck out uh, to me or the other way around. So I just had to get higher and higher up on the ladder. So somewhere September, October was where, well, it didn't really work out for us uh, as the Dutch team and we moved on. So I just kept climbing the ladder and somewhere in October, I managed to hit the top 10 in Europe, which is kind of a big difference between 20, top 25 because of the amount of points and difference that you need to get to get there. And at the end of November, I got the opportunity to, well, I got an offer from a French coach in a Turkish team, the team's Dark Passage, uh, to play in IEM Korea. So this was the first time I really got to leave home and uh, well, spend more than a weekend uh, at an event. This was 10 days in Korea, and obviously, with Korea being as held as it is in esports, I jumped at the I jumped at the offer and immediately took it. After the trials, which I proved to be the their first option, luckily, we were allowed to go to Korea, and whilst our performance at the tournament there wasn't great, the experience was uh, being able to experience the Korean solo queue was something that very beneficial to my career to understand the discipline of the Korean players and learn from that. A month later, uh, the same team, Dark Passage, signed me for the Turkish League. Uh, I played one month, and after the, a month of play, uh, both sides agreed to split because my idea of what a competitive gaming environment would be, a professional gaming environment would be, was not met by the Turkish team, as well as my performance uh, was not satisfactory for them. So we decided to split. Continuing at the top 25 to top 10, hovering back and forth a bit, um, I spent the next few months gaining quite a bit of traction and a lot of people offering me. So around uh, June in 2017, I got an offer to play in, in, in the finals of a, of a Swedish tournament in, in Stockholm. And there I had a very good performance. I had a very strong performance and because of that a lot of people recognized me because I was basically taking over games uh, single-handedly. So because of this performance it was very easy afterwards because a lot of people saw what I could do and, and thought they could grow me into an even bigger threat because at that time I was only 18 which is considered to be fairly young and I'm still just 18. This was about two months ago, uh, not two, it was three months ago, so since then I've been offered uh, several different offers, but the one I ended up taking was one in the Russian league under a Russian organization called ROX. I've been playing for them in the past uh, two months. I just got back from a six week stay in their boot camp, and right now I think I've gained enough well, I've gained enough traction and enough recognition to almost make it into the big leagues soon. Whether, that be, whether that'll be America or Europe, I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty convinced I can make it big for real now.